Hello, today I want to tell you about Obravo Venus, interesting in-ear monitors created by a company that is pretty famous in narrow audiophile circles. I, I never had a chance to try some of their models, uh, they are targeted towards the premium market and creating models with uh, stylish design, great look, uh, some sophisticated schemas and uh, usually with price uh, uh, that goes to the skies. But uh, some time ago they released the model Cupid that was really warmly welcomed by the community, it was pretty affordable. And uh, then they decided to develop that idea and they released Venus. As name suggests, Venus is a mother of Cupid, so it's a Cupid Plus with improved sound. And it's less affordable, of course, its price, uh, if I found right, is 700 uh, British pounds, roughly about 900 dollars. And of course, I'd never buy it now for myself, uh, but uh, my colleague Mikhail Hilko, who creates uh, uh, text reviews for our website Porta.fi, you probably seen them, that uh, reviews with really stylish photos. He is a huge fan of Obravo uh, brand and he, buy, he bought a uh, few of their models, including pretty expensive ones, and he recently bought uh, Venus uh, and actually was so kind to uh, lend them for me lend them to me for for a few days and actually I can just imagine what a huge effort was uh, from his side because just believe you getting the model that you wanted for so long and instantly sending them away to another person. Probably I won't be able to do that. So let's go back to the review, let's do it quick so I will be able to return them to Mikhail. He w waited for them for really too long. So I already told you about the price. In terms of uh, schema, it's a uh, hybrid with planar magnetic for the mids and treble and dynamic driver for the mids and bass. And uh, all that done in uh, Obravo typical stylish way. So also uh, here is the box of earphones and also Mikhail sent me this set of adapters from MMCX to two pin connectors. I'm not sure if they were in uh, if they were a stock accessory here or it just sent them to me so I can try them with different cables. So package is uh, kind of uh, simple but with nice polygraphy with all details uh, printed on the back side. Basic information: 16 ohms of impedance, so pretty low impedance ones. And inside of the box, everything screams about the quality and the premium segment. So they have that uh, piece of cloth covering them. Just imagine someone at the Obra Obravo plant just sitting at the end of a conveyor and putting that cloth inside. I don't know what is it, actually some kind of paper, probably warranty card or something like that. I won't untie it because it's Mikhail's property, I need to return them anyway. And let's go inside. So you'll get ear pieces themselves, replaceable connectors for the stock cable, 6.3 mm adapter, pouch with uh, stock cable, three pair of silicon tips and three set of comply forms. As you can see, accessory set is pretty good and here we'll get cable and maybe something else. Some small pouch for storage, probably of ear pieces and the stripe of velcro for cable organization. Well, as you can see, package and accessory set uh, probably matching that seg segment that they are targeting at. In terms of quality, of course, they are great. That's uh, something you can expect from this company and from this price tire. And uh, they are made of uh, platinum plated brass. You know, not even gold plated or silver plated, it's uh, platinum plated. And of course, if I uh, haven't read that, probably I thought about some nice polished steel. 
but uh, I read that and of course I understand that now that they are three times more premium, they feel three times more solid and better built for me. Of course I am kidding here. In general of course uh, it's a small compact shell with good wearing comfort, proper spout angle, as you can see spout is slightly thicker than average and have uh, pretty big length, so sound isolation is uh, above average too. Uh, but it will be enough for daily commute, for public transport, but of course not for the subway or for, for the plane travel, of course noisy plane, because modern plane, regular modern, modern jet planes are pretty quiet, so. Uh, there is a lip for holding the tips and protective grill, and everything is done really well, really smooth, and it's uh, surprising how they put that uh, two drivers and some sophisticated acoustic schema inside of this shell. It, it feels uh, pretty heavy and of course uh, feels uh, really solid. Well built and in general looks really nice. Uh, shell, sh shape of the shell is pretty comfortable, so most probably they will fit into almost any ears without any problem and thanks to the small uh, small size it will help in this. Cables are replaceable, here used MMCX connectors, but a bit unusual, because they have a notch in the socket and a small, uh, uh, small uh, gro actually groove here and notch here on the connector, so you need to uh, see carefully how they fit. And uh, they hold really well, really tight uh, connection, so probably it's uh, a good idea to use custom MMC MMCX, because they highlight it, uh, probably they will be more durable, but actually it's Mikhail, he will see it in few years. Cable itself also pretty nice, looks, uh, looks fancy, you can see braiding inside, it's twisted, it's uh, Slightly softer than average, not super soft, but of course uh, pretty comfortable with low microphonic, without any issues, no memory, no ear hooks, no memory wire, so just soft cable that will go around your ears naturally. Here is splitter with chin slider and it goes braided down to this connector and here used that schema with replaceable connectors just put it in place and then twist it to, uh, to uh, it's clockwise, twist it clockwise uh, to secure it. If you want to replace it, twist counterclockwise and then pull and you can easily change it. As you can see in terms of build quality it's also really well done. And of course about the sound, to be honest I'm not sure if Mikhail burned them in already or not, I gave them 24 hours of burn in and I didn't notice any changes in sound. In terms of tuning, Obravo decided to go to a bit more fun type of tuning to create model that is pretty engaging. They uh, made interesting V-shaped signature with slightly elevated low frequencies and even more elevated treble, but in general it sounds really fun and engaging. If you're super treble sensitive it may be not a model for you, but in general I can't call them super bright. But it's a matter of subjective preferences anyway, of course. So, I will use SP2000 as player to show some examples and let's talk about the sound. Bass is slightly accented, but not too much, definitely not overdone, really good depth and the perfect balance between weight and speed. Because it's often like when you get more speed you're losing weight, because the bass became faster and drier. Or if you're adding weight you're losing speed, resolution and definition. Here you're getting uh, probably a balanced type of tuning that suits uh, well both for electronic music and for some uh, acoustic instruments and uh, something realistic. Nice textures, good amount of small nuances and overtones, but uh, definitely not a perfect choice for those who like uh, big bass, who like a huge accent. Here it's uh, pretty moderate and well done. First example for the low frequencies, actually wake up. Yep, it's a Nathaniel Ratliff and Night, night Sweets, uh, I, never, I need never get old, 
good uh, track that I use often as a test of low frequencies because they have a big uh, drum uh, in this track really big with a lot of uh, resonance that goes to the deep bass area and uh, this earphone sounds almost perfect here and the uh, second example it's classical electronic music uh, the glitch mob skull club it's uh, nice bass line actually it's a really good uh, test track for me that allows me to understand uh, is this amount of bass enough for me or not so for me it's more than enough it's punchy and enjoyable but at the same time not overdone and actually if you're looking for some bass head model definitely it's not your optimal choice mid frequencies can be separated into two parts because it's uh, clearly audible that at lower mids it's more uh, respons uh, more area of responsibility for the dynamic driver and uh, in the upper mids uh, that planar magnetic driver starts doing it doing its uh, job and the lower part of mids is a bit on the waiter side of things but with a good definition and clarity but upper mids are slightly boosted they are really energetic uh, adding more emotions to that track, adding a bit more aggression and moving female vocals forward. So male vocals sounding more on the weighty side of things and female vocals are forward and emotional. Interesting balance and in between they, these two parts met together blending into nice uh, mix of uh, both emotional and uh, technical representations. Actually, it's not super detailed, not definitely the model for those who need just a pure focus on the micro contrast, detailization or something like that. So if you're looking for a pure clarity, it's not uh, an option for you. It's more for those who prefer a more organic, natural signature that sometimes is referenced as analog one. At the same time, they built a really big imaginary stage, noticeably wider than average and with a really good uh, depth layering Pro probably depth is slightly smaller than uh, width but still uh, pretty well defined and uh, keep in mind that they are critical for the quality of records uh, because of that upper mids they tend to highlight issues with not superbly recorded tracks sometimes and the first example it's uh, transatlantic bridge across forever nice slow almost ballad type of music with interesting guitars with good vocal and thanks to that uh, mix of uh, emotions and engagement uh, this model and actually emotions and engagement and uh, details and clarity so it's two parts mixed together this track sounds uh, pretty engaging and the second one is a band that I can't stop recommending, especially during the current war. It's a Verba, really sad track about, uh, with a lot of references to Ukrainian history, both modern and uh, historical. And uh, it's a great um, example of uh, folk metal with a lot of instruments, uh, traditional instruments, with great vocal performance, unusual tune and really great video. And uh, these earphones deliver this track really nicely with good amount of emotions. And the uh, treble area is kind of a uh, strong part here, thanks to the proper planar drivers. They are detailed with good amount of uh, layering, with nice extension, not super extended, but uh, ab above average. Good clarity, slightly uh, forward in terms of treble, with a bit of added energy. And keep in mind that you need to like treble to enjoy these earphones fully. If you're sensitive, it could be not your option. But at the same time, good layering, good sense of realism and all that stuff that a nice, uh, well-defined treble brings you. And first track is nice illustration for that. It's Space Oddity by David Bowie. It's, uh, uh, it has a lot of uh, overtones that goes through the treble area and these earphones uh, deliver it uh, really well. And the second track, it's also typical Anathema, You're Not Alone. Typical modern uh, track by Anathema with a uh, lot of uh, keyboards, uh, guitars and really nicely recorded stuff. Also pretty rich in terms of treble and that small nuances that these earphones deliver as well. 
Speaking about the pairings, of course they require some good source, at least of middle segment or higher, so not an option for some uh, a cheap digital tonal converter or to listen with smartphone or tablet or something like that. So good dub or digital tonal converter required for them. And speaking about the compressions, actually the only model I can instantly recall it's Fear Audio 5x5. You know, they are priced almost uh, similarly and they also uh, have a similar tuning because 5x5 five five is also kind of a uh, mix of uh, uh, weighty mids and also nice uh, treble but 5x5 uh, uh, five five is slightly more linear this one is a bit more v-shaped if you prefer a bit more fun while 5x5 five five has a, a bit more forward uh, middle mids and uh, slightly more comfortable in treble. So 5x5 five five is for those who want a bit less energetic treble, this one for those who want a bit more. So to summarize this video, thanks once again to Mikhail for providing me these earphones. Really interesting uh, type of tuning, really engaging and pleasant to listen. And thank you for your attention and see you in next videos.